Our idea behind buying the Berry Clips was that the programming was going to be a focus for us within ACT and the school for the next few years to build our own skills on using and teaching programming. Well, every year the Creative Learning Centres work with a range of partnership schools. This is a competitive process um, where schools can come to us with a, with a larger scale project that they want to try and embed within some of their teaching practice within the school to try and develop with us over the course of a year. And it means that we can provide CPD, in-class supported delivery and, and really try and embed skills across the, the curriculum and across the curricular delivery, the whole teaching practice of that school. Pompeii is the, is the city that is described. What was the volcano called? Oh, yeah. Vesuvius. Vesuvius. We can use Scratch in various curriculum areas because uh, we can link it in with our topic work. Uh, like volcanoes links in with the world around us. We have to label the parts of the volcano, drag them to the right places and get as many points as you have to and you will save Pompeii or you have to try again. We felt that with Scratch it could be used in Primary 5, Primary 6 and Primary 7 and could be used progressively but that the, the Berry Clip was a nice step farther for Primary 7. Once they had the hang of creating a project on Scratch on screen that they were able to see that we can plug a, a berry clip into this and we can get a different output, be it a light or a buzzer. Many schools at primary level are already using Scratch um, as a programming software. And this was great for us. It enabled us to build on the platform of knowledge that they had with Scratch, but then to introduce Raspberry Pi, which is a, a piece of hardware which, um, whilst provides an introduction into computing, is quite challenging for a lot of teachers um, to embrace the first time within the classroom. So we felt this was a great opportunity for us to see how we could combine the established use of Scratch in the school with the new use of hardware and add a new dimension to really harden down the digital skills. So yes, the students were learning the creative skills around Scratch and programming, but also they were learning how that works with hardware as well and how computers and digital devices actually work rather than just being able to use them. Raspberry Pi is, you can connect it to Scratch. It has lights on it and it has a buzzer and you can connect the lights and the buzzer to Scratch and control them using the scripts. With the Raspberry Pi, it allows them to interact with lights and buzzers so they get a real world uh, outcome, which you wouldn't normally get. Normally you're looking at a 2D screen. It gives a whole new dimension. When we are in class teaching all our other lessons and trying to cover all the other aspects of the ACT curriculum, it's just a massive help we have support from the Nerve Centre here to how to get these things up and running and how to put them into use and I suppose to help us come up with ideas of projects that we can use that are simple, that are going to be easy for teachers to deliver regularly. Under this partnership model, the skills that Geroid has picked up through the project, the CPD that's been provided and then the embedded learning that he's done in, in delivering that project in the classroom, are then cascaded down through the school. Geroid leads a CPD session with his colleagues in the school and shows them what he's done and shows them how he's done it. And we hope that through that process, the work that's been done in this partnership year is able to be repeated and embedded within the school more widely and more deeply. I'm working alongside David, so he's shown me, along with sets of instructions, what we have to do with all the soldering that was involved in getting the berry clip put together and assembled the updates that have to be put on to the Raspberry Pis, getting Scratch GPIO put on. I wouldn't have been able to do that without spending a half day with, with yourselves in the Fab Lab. Our future Primary 7 classes will be able to look at these projects from now on and either modify them or add to them or use them as something that they can build upon to make another project to achieve maybe more complicated learning outcomes or, or more advanced learning objectives that maybe they, they wouldn't get to achieve if we didn't have equipment like this in school. And when we've seen what they've done this year in Gale Scully Doherty through the Raspberry Pi and Scratch with Volcanoes, we really can't wait to see what they're going to do next year. Now that the capacity's there for them to go and explore and play with this technology for themselves and take it in whichever curricular direction they want. We've got projects here on Morse code and it's something that I'm really looking forward to using now because I know that it's very possible and it's not that difficult and that the kids seem to really enjoy it and benefit from using it.